This year, the Philippines is celebrating its quincentennial. What does that mean? 500 years ago, there was the first circumnavigation of the world by the European Magellan. Landing in the Philippines on April 27, 1521. One of the most important parallels is the fact that he landed on Giwan or on the easternmost province of the Philippines. Here, he found that after crossing the Pacific, a community that gave him food, shelter, and healing from the long and tedious crossing of the Pacific. He went on to go to Cebu where the first mass was held and the first baptism, the first Christianity that began in the Philippines. Giwan is also where the first category five hit Tacloban. These 300 plus kilometer hour winds devastated more than 10,000 lives in 24 hours. At the same time, devastated 4 million houses across the Visayas. Almost the same path that 500 years ago, Magellan traced through the Philippines. It's very important that we celebrate this, not only looking at 500 years in the past, but even looking at the 10 years into the future. The United Nations call this a decade of action. That by 2030, the world must come together to make a difference. As we look at the last 500 years, we must not forget that the next, even 10 years, is uncertain. And so Litter of Light has been creating this look at the future. How do we celebrate the last 500 years the Litter of Light wants not only to celebrate the history when the first winds brought the first Europeans into these islands, but also to look at the now and the crisis of climate change where the first winds of the Category 5 of shifts in climate is devastating the most vulnerable and the least able to adapt, the Philippines. Therefore, we want to create a Green Centennial. The Green Centennial is about the youth. In fact, it's about young Filipinos who want to make a statement that the climate crisis is real and climate action is necessary. Therefore, we have created the Light It Forward Challenge. The Light It Forward Challenge is really about our present predicament where we need to celebrate this great milestone, but at the same time, we are caught in the effects of this COVID situation. Therefore, the Light It Forward Challenge is the ice bucket challenge of this generation. What we are doing is challenging people from the safety of their home. Each person will get a packet of litter of light. People who are participating in the Light It Forward Challenge will receive a workshop kit that they can build in 30 minutes. It will consist of readily available parts wherein uh, electronic components, a MOSFET, and at the same time, recycled plastic bottles and an LED from a motorcycle. This way, people can build solar lights in 30 minutes and then challenge the next person, a relative, a friend, even a public leader or a celebrity. And this way, they will now pass over this commitment to clean energy to somebody else. When we began, it was one of the harshest of lockdowns. In fact, the Philippines has the longest lockdown in the world. We started with 10 family members who challenged 10 other family members. And slowly, slowly, we were able to make the first 250 lights, which we made messages of hope. Letters lighted in the evening that would inspire doctors, that would inspire other people like us, stuck for three months in their home. 
From this 250, it became 500, 1,000, and by the 3,000 participant that was building it from home, we realized that we had a viral campaign. We now had enough lights to make some of the largest symbols of patriotism, of inspiration, of national heroes. With 3,000 lights, we built the largest solar flag of the Philippines in the world, the largest image of Rizal. But also, we now are going to build on April 27, the largest image we've ever done. Practically something that can be visible from outer space of the warrior tattoo of Lapu-Lapu. This one will be built by 4,000 Cebuanos with the lighted forward. From inside their home, they'll be able to participate in this historical occasion by giving a little bit of sweat equity and a little bit of time to build these solar lights, each person a pixel, but together they will make a grand statement of the heroism of the Filipino 500 years ago but at the same time, there will be the colors of the Sustainable Development Goals on that tattoo to symbolize the new climate warriors of this generation. Coming together to tell the world that we know that there is a crisis, but we want the government, we want companies, and we want the world to realize that we need to fight together so that we can make a sustainable and survivable future for years to come. Stop